Hi, welcome once again to Supplement Tutorial. Today we consider a topic development of numbers and numerals. Alright, so numbers is as old as man on earth because the earliest men knew how to count and store their information, their numerical information. After then, a group of people came up and began to develop different ways and symbols of storing information of which the modern one we use now is the Hindu Arabic system. But before the Hindu Arabic system came into existence, we had other ones like the Egyptian system of numbering, we have uh, the Hindu system, we have the Arabic, because the Arabic and the Hindu we are, had to come together to give us the Hindu Arabic system we are using today. And then we had the tally system, these are the ways of counting or storing information numerically. So today we'll be considering the three ways, which is the Egyptian, we consider the Roman numeral, consider the place value system, which is the system the Hindu Arabic numerals is using. So first of all, we have the Egyptian, Egyptian numeral or symbols. The Egyptians developed uh, about seven symbols, which helps us to count numbers from one to one million and they use place value system. Place value in the sense that we have one, we have 10, we have 100, we have 1000, and then we have tens of thousands, tens of thousands, we have hundreds of thousands, and finally we have 1 million. So with those symbols, the Egyptians were able to read or store information from one to one million. So the first is a stroke and the numbers in this category are numbers from 1 to 9 which is the units. The second they used hill bone, hill bone and the numbers in these categories are the, the tens which is numbers from 10 to 99. Then the next they use called a coiled rope. The numbers in this category are numbers from 100 to 999. 999. Then the next we have the thousands, which they use what we call lotus flower. John like this lotus flower, which represent numbers from 1,000 9,999 before we enter tens of thousands. Then the next for thousand, for tens of thousand, they use pointed finger. Finger as though you are pointing at somebody like this. Now these numbers include numbers from ten thousand to you get nine hundred ninety-nine thousand nine hundred and ninety-nine. All the numbers in this category are represented using pointed finger. Next, we have Bobot fish, drawn like a fish. We call this Bobot. Now, Bobot fish represents all the numbers from 100,000 till we get 999,999. All the numbers within this category can be represented using Bobot fish. And finally, we have what we call the astonished man. Astonished man, which represents that million and above. So, all the values we have 1 million, 2 million, 3 million, we use this symbol. So, these are the symbols Egyptians used to represent information in the olden time. Let's consider these examples representing these numbers using the Egyptian numeral. So the first one, I have 62. Now if I split 62, I'll have 60 and 2. Therefore, for 60, I'll use the heel bone six times to represent 60. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And then my 2, I'll use a stroke because 2 is a unit which falls in between 1 to 9, 1, 2. This becomes 62. So if an Egyptian wants to write 62, he will draw about 6 hill bones 
and two strokes. That is 62. For the second one, I have 25. If I split 25 into their terms, I'll have 20 and 5. Therefore, for 20, 20 is also a, a, a tens, which falls between 10 and 99. So I'll draw two heel bones. Now 5 becomes 5 strokes. So what I have here is 25 for an Egyptian. Alright, so the next I have 345. For this 345, I can split it as 300, 40, and 5. So the first I'll write down is 300. 300 is in hundreds. So we are going to be using current group 3 times to represent 300. So I'll say 1, 2, and 3. This is 300. For 40, 40 is tens which can be found in, in the second category so i'll use heel bone four times to represent 40 and then i will have to use five strokes to represent five so for an egyptian this is 345 then the fourth one we have 1028 so let us split it also to help us solve it simply 1,000 for my hundreds, I only have zero zero, no number. Then for tens, I have twenty, and then eight. The symbol for thousands is the lotus flower. Therefore, I will since I have one thousand, I'll draw one lotus flower. Since I don't have hundreds, I am not picking the correct group. Next, I go to twenty. I have my heel bone. I'll take two. Then I have 8, which means I will be taking 8 strokes. For an Egyptian, this is 1,028. Finally, let's consider the million we have here. To solve the fifth one, I will have to split it as well. 3 million. I have 241,000, therefore I will have 200,000. 41,000 giving me 40,000, 1,500, 10, and 6. So these are the eight number we splitted. So next we use the symbol to represent all of them. The first I have is 3 million. So I'll use millions, the astonished man. All right, this is 3 million. Next, I have is 200,000, so I'll use the hundreds of thousands, which is the bobot fish. Alright, since I have 200, I will, I will use 2. Then I have 40, 40,000, I'll use tens of thousands, 4 times, which is a pointed finger. The pointed finger for, 40, for tens of thousands. Then I have 1,000, I'll use thousands, which is the lotus flower, just once, because I have 1,000, then 500, I'll use hundreds, which is a coiled rope, so I'll coil the rope five times, so this is 500, and then we have 10, I'll use tens, a heel bone, and finally I have six, therefore I'll use the stroke, for representing unit six times. All right, so this becomes three million two hundred and forty-one thousand five hundred and sixteen. This is how Egyptians represent information numerically using these symbols. All right, so we are going to be ending the class at this point. In my next class, we'll be using these symbols to perform operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division of numbers. Thank you for coming on board. If it's your first time coming to this page, please kindly consider subscribing. Like my videos and share my contents to your friends. Thank you very much.